welcome to the new look high speed high risk who wants to be a millionaire the show where contestants can earn a huge amount of cash for just sitting here looking at me and there are those who say they earn every penny <laughs> as ever we have life-changing sums of up to a million pounds available but it's now won or lost against the merciless ticking of our big bad clock at £50,000, our contestants earn an extra lifeline, the clock is set aside, and they have all the time they need to battle their way to the million. Now, at £10,000, and so still up against the clock, is Richard Hughes from Bridge End in Glamorgan. And this is what happened last time. Tough ache, final answer. Just won £10,000. <laughs> Richard is a green gas man, a business development manager whose job is to help people lower their energy bills and reduce their carbon footprint. In his spare time, he phones people up pretending to be me. <laughs> and he and his brother Dan are competing to meet the largest number of famous people. Dan has so far met 15, Richard's only met one, and that spit the dog. <laughs> I don't know if I count as number two. Richard's <laughs> wife, Tony, is at home again with their two-year-old, Ryan, so his mate Tudor is back with him this evening. What's this thing about ringing up pretending See. to be me? Um, we, had a, we had a bit of a joke going. Um, a friend of mine, it's a bit of a know-all, and we decided to... Um, I do an pre impression. It's not as good as your impression of me. But um, <laughs> I... Uh, I think I've got one of you. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, we re-rigged re it all up so he was expecting a call. And what, are you pretending to be phoning a friend? I was pretending to be Chris Tarrant. Yeah, but, but... And a friend of mine was pretending to be on the show and had a phone a friend, the guy we were winding up. And um, we'd rig it all up, so I then speak to him at a certain time and mm -hmm. all this sort of stuff. He thinks he's going to get the question right, and then about ten minutes after the show, the angry contestant, his mate, phones him back and gives him what for, because he pretends he got it wrong. And it's... Um, what a sick it's, idea. It's, it is pretty nasty. <laughs> what's, what's the me bit like, then? I'll give it a go. Oh, go on. <coughs> you have to... <laughs> I'm ready for... No, gentle. I'm ready. Uh, <laughs> hello. <laughs> hello, well, what's me? How can you bring? What? Well, I have to say it really quickly, don't I? I mean, I'm on television, to be fair. Well, so am I every night. What's the matter? <laughs> I don't say it like that. <laughs> <laughs> OK, right. At the end of the last show, Richard had reached £10,000 with the klaxon call time. It had cost him a couple of lifelines uh, to get there, but he can still phone a friend, and that'll be ever so confusing if he pretends to be me. Uh, <laughs> just 30 seconds to answer the next question. So, Richard, lots of luck. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? <laughs> so, as always now, I'll read the question, then the four options will come up. As soon as they come up, the clock will start counting down to 30 seconds. Question number six, it's worth £20,000. Rich, I will warn you, you would lose £9,000 of the £10,000 you got here. If you give me a wrong answer, you could phone a friend and still walk away with ten grand. Here it comes. The football club Deportivo La Coruña is based in which country? Greece, Spain, Portugal, Belgium. It's Spain, final answer. Not Portugal. I hope not. It's the right answer. You've got £20,000. <laughs> welcome back. Now, you've got twenty grand. You are one away from £50,000. Um, it's kind of critical, this one. If you give me the right answer to this question, you will be guaranteed to leave here tonight with at least that amount of money. You also would get a brand new lifeline. You would get switch at that point, which means the last remaining five questions, you can switch any question you don't like the look of and hopefully get a nicer one. Here it comes, question number seven, off a possible 12. Which of these countries has no public railway system? It's the last one against the clock. You've got 30 seconds from now. Argentina, Morocco, Thailand, Iceland. I'll phone a friend, please. OK, thought you might. Now, who would know this question? Let's have a look. You've got, um, Alan. Now, who's he? It's my dad. Oh, that's Daddy. Yep. Uh, him in the middle. John. And the one the on family. the bottom looks like Christopher Biggins. <laughs> Dave, yeah. <laughs> All clever cookies. Um... Right, who'd know this? It's a tough old question, but it's worth 50,000. Who would know? Each of these countries has no public railway system. Um, 
Can I phone John, please? OK, what's he do? He's a retired policeman. Worked for the force for years. OK. Uh, we've phoned John, the retired copper. Uh, see what he says. Hello? John? Yes? Chris Darren, hello. How are you? I'm very well, thank you for caring, I'm fine. Uh, I've got Richard here, as you know, that's why we're phoning you. He's doing all right, but he's on a £20,000 question. It does mean your answer... Yes. ..is worth £50,000 to him. <laughs> OK. <laughs> you thrive on pressure. Right. right, next voice will be Richard's. He'll tell you the question, four possible answers, 30 seconds. All right, mate. Okay. Richard, fingers crossed, your time starts now. John. Yeah. Which of these countries has no public railway system? Is it Argentina, Morocco, Thailand or Iceland? I wouldn't like to make... or give you an answer here that might put you off. Say it again, John. I said I wouldn't like to give you an answer here. Right. Five this seconds. Simply be a guess. OK. Thanks, mate. <laughs> Clock's restarted. I'll take the money, Chris. Final answer. Thank you. <laughs> So glad we're all going. Oh. Wow. I don't think any of them have got a public railway system. If I had to go. I have no idea. Absolutely. Yeah, I've, I've been on a train in two of those countries. I've actually. never been to. One um, which one would you go for? Uh, if I had to guess, I would. I think, uh, Morocco. If I had to, guess. I mean, I. But that's a complete and utter. Uh, if you said to me Morocco. If you'd been a bit braver, you would have just lost £19,000. There is... It's not great, you know. <laughs> it's not exactly 100%, but there is a Moroccan public railway system. <laughs> there's one in Argentina, there's one in Thailand. They have not got one in Iceland. Have they not? I think you made a good call there. Richard Hughes yeah. goes away with £20,000. <laughs> we have a brand-new contestant putting their wits against the clock in a couple of minutes. Don't go away. <laughs>